Um, so, one of the big things that happened to me as a kid was I played this game called Metroid. Um, give it up if you heard the game Metroid. And it's okay if you haven't. I always tell people that a real friend will teach you about the things that they love and not shame you for not knowing about those things. That's a fucking asshole. That you have. <laughs> So, as your actual friend, I will tell you about Metroid, for those of you that don't know. It's this game I played as a little kid on the Nintendo in the uh, game. The main characters in this giant metal suit. Uh, they have an arm cannon. You can't really tell who they are, what they look like, what's going on in there. You just know they're kicking ass in this labyrinthian world. They get to the end of the game, the armor suit comes off. And, well, they get to the end of the game, they destroy this giant brain. <laughs> Don't forget that part. They destroy a giant brain called Mother Brain, and then uh, they, or their armor suit comes off, and you see them standing there in all their glory, this like, pink leotard and pink boots, <laughs> and green hair. And as a little girl playing this, I was amazed and shocked to see that she was the character that I had been playing as this whole time. And she forced me to think about my very stupid and limited gendered ideas about what women can and can't do. And so when I grew up and I started making beats, I took on the name Samus, in part because I love that game, but also because when I made beats, dude, bros would be like, who made your beats for you? And I would have to be like, I did, you fucking fool. And so, <laughs> the name Samus resonated with me because, again, it's this uh, flip this rejection of gender ideas about what we can and can't do, which we can do all the things. So, this track I'm going to do for you now is called Mae Jemison, and it's named, yeah! it's named after the first for real, for real black woman in outer space. Um, and for those who don't mind, you to imagine that I'm in my like intergalactic, I'm not Samus, the professor, nerd lady. I'm, I'm not I'm not with the professor or lady. I'm Sam, the intergalactic bounty hunter, and I'm sitting in my intergalactic bachelorette pad, watching intergalactic HGTV or whatever. And I get a call from the Galactic Federation. They're like, Oh my God, Sam, so we're gonna spot them. You gotta save us. And I'm like, Okay, cool. Cut me a check. They cut me a check. The check clears. I take on the mission. And make sure that the check clears first before we take on the mission. Wise words from my family who've seen a lot of things, a lot of bounce checks. Um, and so, uh, in this track, I'm basically just like taking on a mission and running to whoop some ass. So even if you don't get the video game references or any of that stuff, just know I'm going to beat somebody's behind. That's the only thing you need to know about this track. Yeah. 
and feeling kind of trapped in the first class cabin. I'm the crew and the captain. I feel the blast, now I'm nervous, I'm gasping. Sky getting dark like the first Michael Jackson. Next is the absence of gravity's attraction. My ass at my left, this ain't natural reaction. Soon past the moon, I'm the move like Judy Jetson. Two frozen cues, lemon juice, I'm sick and absent. Me, I made a couple drinks to take the pressure off. I heard that love